Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this super, super beautiful and glamorous look for Valentine's Day. I know that Valentine's Day is next week, but I have a special video planned for next week if my boyfriend will cooperate. Um, but I hope that you enjoy, and if you follow along, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post, which is weekly. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I do want to make it aware that I am wearing a shirt. It's just, uh, it goes straight across this way. Just wanted you all to know that I'm not naked. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I'm going to go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and my Beauty Blender. And I'm going to take this and pack this on to my eyelid. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm not gonna set that yet because I wanna go in with the most amount of color that I can pack onto my lid. So I'm gonna start by taking this um, Lorac brush that came in my Beauty and the Beast um, limited edition palette. And I'm gonna start by packing on this color right here. It's called Spoiled. I'm gonna flip it up this way. It's called Spoiled. It's from the ColourPop Yes Please palette. And I'm gonna take that with this more dense side and pack this into the crease as much as I can and then I'm gonna go in with another color and blend that out looking at myself in the mirror I legitimately feel the most ridiculous so Let's go ahead and, and start blending this out. So, I'm gonna go into the Dream Street palette, the ColourPop Dream Street palette, and I'm gonna go into this color right here, and that is called Potion. And now, I'm gonna take that with a Morphe B80 brush and use this to blend out this um, red color. I'm gonna graze that along the edges and smoke that out as much as I need to. I also didn't do my base beforehand. That way I can clean up along the outside over here. So you have to drag it out as much as possible to blend that. And I'm gonna go back and clean that later. And now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and wrap it around my finger this way and try to give myself a cleaner line on the outside. I'm not gonna take it too far up because I'm not necessarily sure what angle I want to leave my makeup at or if I wanna do an eye uh, wing yet, just yet. So I'm just gonna remove the residue and not necessarily like a whole bunch of makeup. So now I'm gonna go back into the Dream Street palette and I'm gonna go into this color right here which is called Elfish and I'm just gonna take that on an elf smudging brush and pack this in a lot closer to the lid than I did the other two colors. Okay, I'm having a harder time packing that color on with that brush. So I'm gonna go back into the same uh, brush that I used to pack on the red color, and I'm just gonna clean that on my makeup wipe real quick. And then use this to pack the elfish color on. I don't know what, for some reason, it's just not working with that other brush. So I'm gonna just take this brush and pack that on. Much better. Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna start to take that in windshield wiper motions. Again, these colors 
I'm packing them on to get the most pigment. They're not gonna look this harsh. I'm gonna do a lot of blending, but I do like to pack first and then blend because you get the most pigment out of your colors. If that's the desired look that you're going for. If not, then go ahead and just start blending right away. Also, set your, your, your primer or your concealer, whatever it is that you use to prime your eyelids. Two, if you also want uh, less of, you know, if you don't want that much pigment, pigment from your shadows. Okay, now I want to diffuse these colors out together as much as possible. So I'm gonna go back into that Morphe B80 brush and now I'm gonna take the Yes Please ColourPop palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called GNO. And I'm going to take this and blend out all three of these colors as much as possible with that shade. Okay, now this is my favorite part because we are gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna go in with the Liquid Camouflage Catrice Concealer and I'm just gonna place some of that on the back of my hand. Oh, that's a lot. And I'm gonna take a flat concealer brush and use this to cut the crease. Okay, what was a literal maybe five seconds for you all was five hours for me to cut my crease. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush like this one and I'm gonna pack some color onto my lid. Now, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette and I'm gonna go into this color right here. So it looks just like a cream color. This is the color Rowdy. Let me swatch this and give you guys a close up because it has a little shimmer to it. I just wanna pack this first and then pack some more color onto my lid. So I don't know if you can see that. It's so pretty. It's like if it were a beige, like it's just a cream color with sheen to it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna pack this onto my lid and then we will come back and go over top with some more shimmer. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the I Think I Love You palette and I'm gonna take the color that's right next to it right here and it's called My Treat. I've got it swatched on my hand so you can see what it looks like. It's this one right here. It is so beautiful. It has almost like these, it's silver but with like hints of brown. It's beautiful. I want this to be a spotlight on the very, very center of my lid. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I used to pack on this color. I went ahead and I cleaned it on a makeup wipe and I'm gonna pack this onto the very center and then ever so slightly blend this out um, to the outer portions of my lid. Okay, now to just give me a little more shine on the very center of my lid, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Palette Glitter and it's just the silver one. And again, I'm gonna take this and just place this on the very, very center of my lid just because I really, really want that spotlight um, appearance and I wanna get the most shine as possible. I am gonna apply that with a glitter glue. I'm not gonna apply very, very much of it so I don't need excess amounts of glitter glue. And again, just on the very, very center of my eyelid. Because I didn't pack that glitter onto my lid and I kind of just raised it over the very center of my eyelid, it just gave me the most beautiful shimmery appearance but not so harsh, not so like glitter harsh, and I, I love the look of it. Now, I want to deepen the outer corners of my lid because I'm not gonna go in with a liner, um, and I just wanna give my eyes a little more dimension, so I'm gonna take this flat uh, C-shaped elf brush, 
and I'm going to pack the same color that I used um, in the crease earlier and it's from the Dream Street palette and it's this one right here called Elfish. I'm going to pack that ever so slightly to the very, very outer portion of my eyelid. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some mascara lashes and I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and then we're gonna pack. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and I'm going to finish the lower lash line. Before I leave and apply my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know which ones I'm wearing. So I'm gonna be wearing these Sephora Collection lashes and I haven't opened them quite yet, but I'm just gonna be wearing the ones that are right here. They remind me a lot of the. Ardell Wispies, not the Demi Wispies, but the full Wispies. Um, or almost the, like maybe the double Wispies. They came out with some new ones that are like stacked double Wispies and they are beautiful. And I'm gonna have to go pick up some of those, but this is what they remind me of. And like I said, I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and took the Yes Please palette and went into the color French Kissed on an angle, a flat angled brush. And I just pressed that up against the bottom lash line. I'm gonna intensify that just a little bit on the outer corners. Okay, now because I want to blend the um, very initial color that we went in with, I wanna blend it out into the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take the very same first color that I used back into the Yes Please palette, into the color Spoiled right there. And I'm gonna take the Morphe B80 brush because I want to have a little bit of the residue of all of the other colors to blend this out. Then I'm gonna start by taking it as close to the outer corner as possible and grazing that along the bottom lash line. Okay, now that I've blended that color out on my bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take a I lost it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm going to take the Benefit Highbrow. Now, if you didn't know, this is a great, great, a great option to line your waterline, especially if you like a brighter color in your waterline. Not only this, but also the Pixie Highlighting Stick, which I have somewhere here. Uh, but this works too, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this and just apply this on my bottom lash line, on my bottom waterline. I'm really horrible at doing this without making the ugliest faces or without like aggressively pulling my uh, under eyes down. So I'm gonna do this off camera and then we'll come back and it'll be like I was never gone. Okay, to highlight, I thought it'd be cute if I went in with a more uh, pinky shade. So I'm gonna take the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color Smoke and Wishes. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't even know if ColourPop sells this anymore because that's how long ago I got it. And also might be expired, but it's also something that I don't put all over my face or close to my eyes. I'm a little lenient about it. But these work best. It's such a pretty color, by the way. It's just like this really, really nice, uh, it has a little bit of a, a pink reflect to it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's so pretty and they work best with your finger. So I'm gonna take this on my finger and dab this into the highest points of my cheeks. Okay, now I'm also gonna take this down the bridge of my nose and the very, very tip of my nose. I'm gonna use that same Super Shock Cheek shadow and go in with a small, just a small little blending brush and I'm gonna highlight the inner corners with this and under the brow bone. 
isn't it such a surprise that I'm not using the uh, Becca Champagne Pop highlight? That is my all-time favorite, favorite highlight. So it's just something that I use all the time. And I also feel like it's something that just looks so beautiful with everything, every look, no makeup, tons of makeup. I mean, that's just me because that's how much I love it. It was also like my very, very first big purchase at Sephora. That's a lie actually, because my boyfriend got it for me. But then I later bought another one, which was my first like high-end purchase, I think. Yeah, that was like my first, yeah. But the very first one I ever had, my boyfriend got it for me. And then he got me the palette that had like another highlighter and three blushes. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Okay, before I move on to lips, I'm just gonna go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and set my face. Okay everyone, and that's it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed this week's video and that you liked this look. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so that you can get a notification of every new video that I post. Um, I just want to give a big thanks to all of my friends and family that have been following along with my videos. It means so much and it is so kind. And I'm really excited to just keep this up and provide more content for you all and expand my audience. So I just want to say a big thank you and I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone.